Welcome back to our YouTube channel, where we bring you the latest tips and tricks for using vCarve Pro. In today's video, we'll be discussing lead in and lead out options for the Profile Cut Toolpath. These features are incredibly valuable for achieving smooth transitions between the toolpath and the material, ultimately improving the overall cut quality. Let's dive in. To set up lead in and lead out options in vCarve Pro, follow these simple steps. Step one, select the vectors that you want to profile, cut, and open the Tude Profile toolpath form. Step two, enter the cutting depths tool and machine vectors settings as usual. Step three, click on the lead in out tab to access the lead in and lead out options. Step four, check the add lead in out moves box to enable the feature. Step five, choose the type of lead in and lead out you want, arc, line, or ramp. Each type offers different parameters that you can adjust, such as angle, length, and radius. Step six, check the do lead out box if you want to add an exit lead at the end of the toolpath. Step seven, click on the apply button to see a preview of the toolpath with the lead in and lead out moves. You can also use the node editing tool to modify the start and end points of the toolpath if needed. Fantastic. By following these steps, you can ensure your profile cut toolpath includes lead in and lead out moves for a cleaner, more professional finish. But that's not all. All. Let's explore some additional options you can use. In addition to lead in and lead out moves, vCarve Pro offers two more features that can enhance your toolpath. Straight line lead and circular lead. The straight line lead creates a linear lead onto the cutter path, allowing you to specify the angle and lead length distance. It's perfect for guiding the toolpath onto the selected edge with precision. If you prefer a more curved approach, the circular lead option is ideal. It creates an arc lead onto the toolpath using the radius and lead length distance you specify. This results in a smooth curve that follows the direction of the vector at the point it reaches the actual geometry edge. Remember, you can also check the do lead out box to add an exit lead at the end of the toolpath and the overcut distance can be adjusted to achieve better edge quality on your parts. These lead in and lead out moves not only help in achieving a cleaner and more professional look, but also help reduce tool marks and improve the overall cut quality. Plus they can minimize heat and stress on the tool, extending its lifespan. So whether you're working on intricate designs or large scale projects, Incorporating lead-in and lead-out options in your toolpath is essential for achieving precise and polished results. That's it for today's video on lead-in and lead-out options in vCarve Pro. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you have any questions or would like to see more tutorials like this, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more SANC machining tips and tricks. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.